What's up, nerds on a Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Nexomon. Uh, since the last episode, which for me was like five minutes ago, I <laughs> checked to see if uh, everything worked with the previous recording, because like I said last time, I was having some problems, some issues, not problems, issues. And now I know everything seems to be fine. So hopefully everything's okay now. <laughs> oh, look at this place. Hmm. <clears throat> Huh? What's wrong? It looks just like the Nexolord's tower. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it does. Why is that, Olzar? <clears throat> I... I don't remember. What? But you built this place! Please follow me. I will show you the gate that seals Omnicron's soul. Um... I... I... I don't think that we're there yet because we're like level 21 as of before. Although if we keep getting like one level every one or two battles and if we fought, fight some basically trainers, like last time we got two battles, uh, two levels from one battle against the Power Ranger guys. So if that keeps being like that, by the way I love the music, uh, then we're gonna be level like 50, 60 in no time. The next solo tower. I don't remember the chasm looking like this. Okay, okay, bold assumption. Wait, there's something here. Haha! -ha! Uh, bold assumption. Um, we never fought the previous next lord. He only said he was a son of um, Omnicron, but we never fought him. And when Omnicron was like, I will burn everything with Fenrir, uh, or whatever his, his, his name was, and I will destroy everything with Meridia, or, or whatever her name was, Arqua, um, he never mentioned the Nexolord. We don't know what or who the Nexolord is. So everything around here might be the previous Nexolord's uh, doing. He might be a warden or whatever. Well, here we are. The gates to the very heart of the netherworld, to the final evil. Alright, let's do this. Not so fast. Every single warden will come and obliterate us before we can even open this door. Our only hope is to destroy each of the wardens separately. I see, their combined power must be greater than Omnicron himself. I mean, we fought one and he had like 9,999 health. Omnicron had what, like 4,000? 6,000 maybe? I don't know. Precisely. Now, as you know, each warden has their very own prisoner. Can you figure out who the who are their prisoners? Can you figure out who the prisoners are? The children of Omnicron. Then we're in the other sir. Huh? Indeed, Omnicron's children also dwell within the chasm. Each of them has a chamber, so to speak. Come follow me. It's easier if I just show you. So, basically, boss boss rush again. Oh, and also, please, please do not touch Omnicron's gate. Lest you want your journey to end instantly. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Wait. Okay. I'm just gonna save. Like, I'm, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm afraid or anything. I'm just gonna save now. Or else we're gonna lose all of the three and a half minutes progress that we just had made. Like, seriously, I, I have a problem with saving. I mean, it's better to save more of, uh, way too often than uh, not often enough. Like, there's nothing worse than to lose your save file for like, where you put in like three hours and didn't... Oh, come on. Oh, that's easy. There you are. Look around you, kid. Each of these altars belong to a warden. And each of them imprisons one of Omnicron's kids as well. We must destroy the warden that owns each altar. But then, won't the champions be free? You can leave that to me. I will let you pick the order in which you wish to meet the champions later. But show you, but to show you the ropes, it is best we we visit the cheap, weakest champions first. Marita of the Ocean. Yeah, she was pretty weak. Come on, follow me into your chamber. Okay, great. Uh, I would have chosen there anyway because we already have Prachara up front. By the way, none of our guys have evolved so far. Oh, interesting. Wait, why are there people? Whoa, what is this? What's this place? This is what we call a nightmare. You see, wardens use the memories of their prisoners to build a fake world. This way, prisoners are never aware that they are trapped and will never try to escape. Basically, the Matrix, which is a great concept. And also, which begs the question why... 
some people wanted to escape the Matrix. Like, I know that's a, that's a old, like, old question at all, and people talked about that a lot. But I absolutely understand Cypher in wanting to go back into the Matrix. Because it's objectively a better life in there. Although, yes, you can, you could build a better life outside, a real life outside, if everything works out. In there, you just know you are just one of many, many, like, slaves? Ba basically, they weren't really slaves. Well, kind of. Prisoners, let's call them prisoners. But you live a decent life, you live a normal life. And if you don't remember that you that there is an outside world, everything's all right, technically. Yeah, but the whole um, trader, being a trader and uh, just almost dooming all of his friends. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Both the places and the people you see here are fakes. A mere charade to trick the prisoner. However, we don't belong here. You can't expect the nightmare to fight us back. Huh, so it's like Inception. Yes, like Inception. <laughs> I, I like, like, sometimes the humor is a bit on the nose, but just like this, like, like, also being, <laughs> yes, like Inception. That's great. The war that a prisoner must be somewhere in this nightmare. Our search begins now. Okay, so can we heal here? In theory, she is a healer. And there is a mart. The nightmare will fight back, but I think... Okay, she will heal us. That's great. So they are real enough. How do I know you? Weird. Not many demons come around these parts. Okay, so the infrastructure works here. That's interesting. A really interesting concept. Hey, friends. The netherworld is a dangerous place, check out my wares! I think I gave her a different voice, but... You, as per usual, I like, yeah, I know. Uh, nope. Yeah, we have 33 Nexo Traps, we don't really need anything, so we're gonna buy some revives. How about two? How about one? Just, like, just buy some stuff. The economy and all. Are you a warden? No. This shop doesn't make a lot of sense at a place like this. It's been ages since I last saw a tamer around here. Ah, that's what he meant. I was like, didn't he just say that no one knows that they're basically uh, in here? But yeah, he he's at least aware that... He, he was only aware that not many people come around here. Huh, tamer? What are you doing in a place like this? Uh, getting the Nexomite? I mean... Why do you have to ask? It's my business, not yours. I don't own a business. <laughs> Algamate. Ah, my nose is itching again like crazy. That really sucks. All right, let's see. Oh, it's a barber. I love barber. Why is he already a barber in level on level eleven or at level eleven or whatever? By the way, I just realized. Since they are... Ooh, Parpy, they also remade that sprite. Interesting. Since all of my Nexomon are the same basic principle of, as I like to call them, legendaries. That also means that they will probably all evolve at the same point. Won't it? So, I just want to know when they evolve. I just need to find one of them. Oh, wait, no. We can see either way, even if we haven't uh, evolved someone. As soon as we have their... As soon as we have them in the database, we can... No. 34? And then 44, okay. 38? Oh, they're all different. Interesting. Because that's, that's what I wanted to say. I thought that they would all probably evolve around the same time. Which would have been interesting, like five uh, five evolutions right one after another. Mandrove. Okay, that thing got reworked. Okay, I need to I, I, I need to look that up now. Is the one next one that I detest, like I completely hate, still the same? Or did they rework it as well? Uh, 
pretty sure I've seen it before when I realized that they reworked a bit. Where is it though? Nope. Manzan is still the same. I th just think, think that I've never seen Mandrove. Mandress I remember and I think it's slightly different because that looks cute. Mandrove also. Manzan, no I hate it. I don't know why. I can't even tell you what it is about it. But everything about it screams abomination to me. <laughs> and I'm very sorry for whoever designed this. Like, this is not against you or your, uh, your um, skills at all. This is just personally this one does not speak to me in any way, shape or form, like, at all. Just, like, just personal. Uh, like, it's nothing personal against you, it's personal from me, you know what I mean. You know what I want to say. Parpy! That Parpy! Okay, um, I went down here to go back, but of course I forgot if there was a way up. No, okay. So it's just going back and to the other side, to the north. All we got here was the Nexomite. Is it called Nexomite? I think it is. I, I, I'm, I'm very... Oh, once again, there's some light in here, right? Yeah, whatever. I'm very bad at remembering stuff that just happened. That's, that's my crux. Nexo trap. Great, now we're at like 24. <laughs> and we basically... Don't capture any Nexomon, like... Lately we haven't caught anything. Last, the last thing I caught was the Legendary, I think, and I mean that I had to catch because it was a Legendary. I'm... I'm curious, I need to look that up later on. Oh, that's her. <laughs> I need to look it up later on if... There is only one Legendary and you have like a... I don't know how much, many percentage chance of uh, meeting it or if like there are multiples of it like unlimited but the the chance to meet it is just the smallest okay um before we fight her we're gonna take a look at skills okay green gust healing not bad powerful and fast electric attack What are the chances that Sapping Shock is stronger than, you know what, the Neon Flux? We're gonna find out right now. My freaking nose! Okay, um, 50, 70, damn, yeah, we're gonna keep that one. Yes, it has less, I love how there's a flame after it. Yes, it has less accuracy, but I'm completely okay with that. Skills. Um, we're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna go with Green Gust, because we don't really need a normal attack when we have two different elements. I would say. What are you? That You look like poison. Yeah. Splash your enemy with water mixed with a powerful venom. Does that mean it is also... it can also poison someone? I hope it does. Uh, powerful sensor that disables, that's great. Harden, nah. Swift, nah. Rock Barrage. Continuous attack of rock that confuses your opponent. Ew. I like confusion. Um, what are you? Wind Cry. A battle cry that slows opponents down, making it harder for them to evade. Ew. Cast temporary storm on your open opponent's location. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Nice, and there was Vine Attacker. Relent an attack that attaches thick wine to your opponents and restricts their movement. Um, how about this? And how about. That? Nah, we're gonna keep it like this. I think. Uh, and we're gonna. Ooh! Get this one. So, wait, didn't they. Didn't they say we have to fight the Warden and Olzar was like, yeah, leave the champions to me? We're gonna find out. Right now. Uh, 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 uh. 
Uh, hey? Can I help you? <laughs> Is it an autograph you're looking for? Uh... Oh no, I must hurry back to the volleyball practice. I'll sign your shirt later, bye! Oh yeah. Wow, she didn't even recognize us. Yeah, because she's living in a constant nightmare. That's the power of the Wardens. Prisoners eventually forget their past and just accept their life here. The Warden who created this nightmare must be nearby, so be careful. Okay, okay, that makes mo way more sense now. I mean, of course she wouldn't... Rem no, I mean... She could have remembered, but yeah, I, I, I get the concept now. It's... It's pretty cool. By the way, it would be cool, like, here, it looks like there could be something where I can go through. Some little hidden, like, caves or whatever it would be cool. Or just some, uh, some hidden pathways. Just give me a small item, doesn't need to be anything. Or give me a, a spot where we find a specific Nexomod easier. Nothing big, like, not saying give me a gold Nexo trap every time or whatever, but just... I mean, one thing that I love about this game is how linear it is, because with my sense of direction, a uh, like big open worldy game that lets me pick and choose whenever I want to be wherever, sucks. Fire stigma burns. Yeah, that's that's what I want. Um, like I don't, I'm not the type for open world and stuff. But like complete linearity like this, where you, every now and then you have like one. He's the warden. Uh, where you have like one small path that goes for like one screen, maybe two, and then you have to return anyway. That's nice and all. Like I said, appreciate it very much. But like every now and then a small little, like a nook cranny with something in it. You. But Bryce, is that you? You know my name? Shh, he's not your friend. He's not a fake from his nightmare, remember? But what is he doing here? You kids, you're not from this world, are you? Aha, uh -huh, I knew it! How come he knows about this? With a trained eye like mine, you'll notice plenty of strange things in this world. And you've just confirmed that it must be an illusion of sorts. Hmm. The warden accidentally created a detective smart enough to figure this out. Interesting. So tell me, what is the purpose of this fake world? Why am I here? Well, it can't hurt to tell him the truth, right? Uh, you sure? <laughs> it might collapse on itself. I don't know the, the rules. A prison for that woman and I'm just I'm just a filler? Well then, let's go destroy the warden. You want to help us? You will disappear if warden is defeated. That woman is not the only prisoner here, kid. As long as this nightmare exists, I will be trapped too, no thanks. I'm sure the real Bryce would do the same. True? He probably would. Yeah, that's, that's the big problem, like, with what I said about the Matrix and all. The problem is knowing. Like, if you... You're, like, you know, you know, like, when people, every now and then, people want to seem... Let's use a word I don't like, woke. Um, they'd be like, yeah, but what if we are in a, uh, in a simulation, and what if everything is not real? I like, yeah, but... If you never knew, like, if this world that we're in right now wasn't real, and we would never know, like, maybe when we die, maybe when we die we get to the real world, or whatever, just, whatever, we would never know until we die that this was a fake world, why would that be a problem? I'm not saying ignorance is bliss, I'm just saying if you never know and can basically never know if this is real or not, then for you it is real your whole life. Whatever, I don't know, this is getting too deep. <laughs> She's here. Show yourself, Warden of Merida. Merida. Mer Mer Merida. Do they all look the same or different? Oh, they look slightly different. Cheetah, but okay. Be gone for I seek you no harm. But we seek you harm, that's the problem. We've come to destroy Omnicron soul. The king of monsters? Why would you bother with such a task? One day he will reincarnate back into the mortal world. Not even the wardens can stop that. <laughs> Don't you think a human giant can? To defy a warden is a crime beyond forgiveness, young Nexalord. You will pay by spending an eternity within the Kaiser. Okay, how- wait, what? 
Interesting. Aqua part two? I don't know. Wow, only 1,000. I mean, for our current strength and all, that's still a lot. But that's actually very much doable. And as always, I have to... Hey, come on. Okay. Come on, let me paralyze you, please. Maybe it can't be, but... Why wouldn't it? Okay, uh, let's see how much we can heal. Oh! A lot! A metric shit ton, as they say. Once again, thought, oh no, it would be super effective if it hit us. But it wouldn't be. Oh, wow. We should have just started to attack. Because we have the upper hand here. But I like the design. Like, it's... Oh, damn it. Can we thaw out on our own? I don't know. Oh, siphoning bombs. Okay, wait. Maybe we'll switch out. Maybe we'll switch to Spink. Because Spink also resists water. And we can try to poison as well. Do we already have the poison attack? No, right? Nope. We can use a vine attack that has a possibility to bind. Siphon the bombs. I'm just gonna keep doing this. We'll have to bind our sooner or later, right? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. I'm not gonna play around. I'm gonna just immediately anti-freeze. The first time I actually used something like that. Love the battle music, by the way. Okay, then we're gonna go with... Leaf Dance. Pachara is stronger. Interesting. And we're poisoned. Uh, we're gonna... I don't think we resist as Luhava. No, okay, yeah, we don't resist, but we are also... It's also not super effective. Um... Do we try to freeze? Do we try to confuse? Or do we just go for attack? Let's see how strong a legendary is. Damn! That is pretty strong. Not gonna lie. I mean, oh yeah, it's Storm. Isn't that the, the strongest electric attack? Is it? No, it isn't. Interesting. But what if we finish it with Slashing Breath? Haha! <laughs> you dead! That's all the XP. <clears throat> wow, that was a voice crack. That's all the XP we get. The wardens are the ones keeping your world safe. You are at least your own device next to them. We must hurry. As long as Merida remains in this world, what warden can recover? What well, that that warden can? Re whatever. That's one warden down. At this rate, no one will protect Omnicron from us. So that was the creature who made this world. I suppose it's just a matter of time before I disappear too, huh? I mean, yeah, sorry. We got the achievement Defeat Doreen, so her name was Doreen. We found a golden Nexo Trap, which is a golden Nexo Trap. And you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna switch out. Oh, we're not longer frozen because it doesn't carry over. We're gonna fight like two fights probably and then level up anyway to heal. Because we aren't healed and I don't wanna run all the way back. So this has to do. Okay, that's a bit more than just two fights, but it should be doable. How, how much do we get, like, suddenly a shit ton? Sorry for swearing, but, like, that is completely arbitrary, it seems. Like, completely random numbers. Um, oh, there it is. Nolligator, Nolligator, whatever. Bam, very effective and everyone levels up. Everyone is fully healed. Someone learned some things. Two guys learned something. Let's take a look. Uh, was it you? Yes. Turbulent flow, cast a turbulent flow of water in your opponent's location. 
A splash of poison contains a powerful venom that drains opponent's HP. I'm gonna keep this for now. Both of these attacks, because I don't know if, like, one could possibly just be a poison without damage. The other one could be poison with damage, whatever. Super strong current of wind that forms a protective wall blocks one attack. Slash your opponents with blades, freeze your opponents, toss your opponents. I don't think I need freeze, so we're gonna go for this. Why not? Okay, um, no items around anymore, I think. At least it doesn't seem like it. We saved successfully, that's great. And now let's see what's up here. It's you, I remember now. And this, this must be the chasm, is it not? Marina, we have to, des we have to destroy the board of this world. I will send your soul back to the vortex, do you understand? Right, whatever. You will do the same with Father Omnicron, won't you? We will. It's time to end what I started. It seems humans have won this war. But not without help. Even my own kind reeks of traitors. <laughs> hey, kid. Before I go, you should know one thing. I was going easy on you in that volleyball match. No, you just suck. She a little. <laughs> she did. She really sucked. Goodness, that wasn't necessary. You didn't watch her play. What's that Ortex thing you mentioned? In a way, it's the birthplace of the Nexomon, but also a dimension of no return. But that's not important right now. The Ortex is a matter we can discuss later. Like, so we are not even destroying their souls. We're just sending them somewhere else. We sent them from our world to the Netherworld and from the Netherworld to the Vortex, where they basically come from, but they can't return from them. That doesn't make any sense. Can't we just crash their soul and destroy them forever? Bryce, you're a creation of the Wardens and your existence is linked to Merida. It is a matter of time before you and this world disappear. I'm sorry. Don't fret, you've done me a favor. Just greet the real Bryce for me. Come on now, we must return to the chasm. Did... what? Wait, did... Did we? Did he? I mean... I wasn't necessarily expecting to fight Merida again, but... I somehow did? I know he said he would take care of him, but he was just like, no, you go back, and she was like, err, and she was gone, like, huh? Alright, let's see. There are four more wardens we must defeat, and... Um... Guys? Uh, what the hell? Bryce, how is that possible? Uh, I don't know, I just stepped into Borderland. I'm here. I, I don't. Hmm. Maybe it's the real Bryce? No, I would sense any human who steps into the chasm. This man is definitely a, a fake created by a warden. Gee, way to ruin my day. There, there, there's no harm in having him join us, right? There might be. I suppose not. I will help you out. We must get to the bottom of this. Like, I'm... Ah, <laughs> interesting. As I was saying, there are another four nightmares we must visit. Now that you understand how this works, you may pick whatever nightmare you wish. To the left is Grunda's chamber, and to the right is Fona's. Let's do this. You can now access any nightmare. That's an inter interesting way of phrasing that. Um, I think we're gonna go with... Granda first. Yeah. And we're gonna swap you with... You! Because wind is super effective against rock and not vice versa. I remember now. We are in the... In the uh, post game and now I remember my typings. Most of the time because I still don't really know if rock is super effective against electricity or not. But for the most part I remember stuff. I'm gonna save again just for safety as always. And I'm gonna leave it at that for now because it's almost exactly 30 minutes that's nice and I have a dot of spot of light on my forehead. Whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm running a cactus knife. Gotta run. Bye bye.